the HMS Unicorn, the most original warship left in the world. Built in 1824, she is the oldest ship in Scotland and one of six oldest ships in the world. The vast wooden structure draws you in and her eye-catching unicorn figurehead greets you on arrival. This remarkable vessel holds nearly 200 years of history. It sits perfectly preserved, perched on a pontoon here in Dundee's Victoria Dock, Scotland. Inside are four atmospheric decks to explore. Wow, wow, look at the cannons. Built in Kent shortly after the naval wars against Napoleon ended, the 46-gun frigate was never rigged and spent its early life docked in the River Medway, serving as a depot ship for the next 140 years. Oh my gosh! This is like a time capsule. Her lack of duty left her timbers very well preserved, and in the 1960s, steps were initiated to convert her to a museum ship and open to the public in 1975. Virtually everything inside is original, all dating back to the day she was built. They would have been playing cards, dominoes, even still got some original cheese in the tray. The water must be coming through. You can hear the boat effects from the speaker. Oh yeah, let me shut this minute. It's almost been burnt in, hasn't it? The unicorn offers us an all too rare chance to step back in time to see and experience for ourselves an aspect of a world now long gone. Let's have a look at the HMS Unicorn. Look at this. It's like the widest boat I've ever seen. Wooden. Wow. It's the back end of it. It's so nice. Look at these little windows. I'd love to live on this. Sort of a head on view. Look at that. On the upper deck, we get a real sense of how large the unicorn really is. This Georgian frigate is beautifully made and houses 18 of the smaller cannons. Wow, wow, look at the cannons. Yep. All right, well, here we go. Wow. Building the ship, ordered in 1817, HMS Unicorn was built following the end of the Napoleonic Wars. She was designed to have 46 guns spread across her top two decks and a crew of 300 men. Construction began in 1822. Wow. You can see them, how they're making it. And the drawings for the designs. Look at these. That is incredible. Look, do you think they were using these? Playing the music and stuff when they were on the boat. Oh yeah. Look how old they are. 
Look at this, it's so old, isn't it? The telescope, the old binoculars. Look, and they would have been pinned out on the map where they were going. But it's amazing that it all survives. Look, it's the ship's bell. Go on, give it a ring. Yeah, of course you are. I'll do it. That is cool. Look, it's all the uniforms. That's a fancy uniform. Look at that. It's like a night of us. Mess dress, 1937. Officer's jacket, 1965. That is cool. It's nice how they've just left it raw like that. Yeah, it is. Wow, look at that. Mary Rose, 1510. Royal Yacht. 17th. Wow, look at that one. HMS Warrior, 1860. Oh, they've got little men on there. Have they? Oh, yeah. They're restoring this one. Restoration in progress. That is so cool, isn't it? I wonder how long it takes someone to build something like this. So I want to know how long it takes for someone to make a model like that because that is incredible work. Carronades, the upper deck of the unicorn was designed to carry an armament of 14, 32 powder carronades. Wow, and look at them, they're in brilliant condition, aren't they? Mm -hmm. But this is the ball it would shoot it's, it's even got like the marking on it still. Wow, imagine that hitting your ship. <laughs> It's like war memorials, isn't it? Look at them all. Oh, 400 yeah, of them. Oh, all the young boys so young. working yeah. on the ship. Look at these old photos. Yeah, they were. Aged they were, they were, 11. He got charged with stealing rags and ropes. But how it gets so young, isn't it, to start working on the ship? 1929. Oh, look at it there. Oh my god. It's being broken up. Let us know in the comments. Would you like to see more stuff like this that isn't abandoned? It's still super interesting, really historic, because I love seeing stuff like this. Where was it? Cup stand. But this would take 110 men or more to heave it around. Whoa. Men. That is a lot of men. I'm excited to get into the bottom part mm. of this ship. Mm -hmm. oh, look, the wheel. That is a beast. Ship's wheel. Yeah, that was. It was steered using those two wheels. To think, someone 300 years ago. It would in hard weather. It would require four crew members to use these wheels. Wow. It's amazing you can just touch this as well. I mean, this is just like history. <laughs> Think of the amount of money and time that it took for all of this to be created is just insane. Look at that little cannon. Yeah. BP and C. 304. God, it's only a small hole, isn't it? Fear God, honour the king. Unicorns of the Royal Navy. 1544. It's all about what happened. What happened to it? Look, eight, 1688 sold. Whoa. Unicorn Marshal Command. Brought and made a fire ship in 1666. It's incredible, it's all hand painted, yeah. isn't it? It's like pirate vibes, isn't it? It is. We're on a pirate cool. ship right now. <laughs> and there's Dundee, dock or harbour. 
So to think that this was probably, when they were on this ship, they were probably younger than us. Mm -hmm. Now look at them. Quick. What a story to tell. Yeah. Bumsy. Oh, the dog was an official crew. Look, even had a hat and everything. <laughs> Pigeon. And what else? And yeah, they rained it. Found themselves in icy water, unable to radio their position. Their only hope would be to release the onboard carrier pigeon. That's crazy. A reindeer? Yeah. Ice on the ship. Wow, that's, that's chronic. These guys are like superhuman. <laughs> yeah. A map of the yeah, Arctic conroys they did. Yeah, you see All the way over to like Russia and stuff. Yeah. Like the yellow is the summer route, winter route. German allies is all red, that's all their allies. Whoa. Look at them all. All the boats just chilling. Oh, the hell. I'd love to go back in time. Look at all the old signs. Strunewild. Battle honours, they are some. Oh, they're battle honours. Look at all the different years. 1588 up until... 1943. 1943. The floor below the upper deck is the gun deck. This runs most of the length of the ship and was home to her 28 large cannons, making up the frigate's total complement of 46 guns. At the rear of the gun deck is the captain's cabin, proving that at least one member of the crew lived in some style. Time to head back down. Oh, it's never one of these things. Yeah. With these wooden floors. Whoa. Oh, Is that the dining room? Get down there in a minute. Yeah. That looks the evolution of the guns. Oh, yeah. They got bigger and bigger. Is that a wooden one? Yeah. Amazing. Uh, it's a bronze mortar. Old chests. I wonder what they would have kept in here. It says, oh no, this is about the doors. This is the original doors. Oh, yeah. These they're cedar wood. These are the captain cabin doors. Look. Oh my gosh. This is the captain cabin. This is like a time capsule. Captain had the largest, most luxurious quarters on the ship. In here is where he would live, worked and slept. You can see the old lantern, the captain's hat, probably where he's drinking from, his maps and stuff, old apothecary drawers, a cross on the top. Incredible. I'm glad this place is preserved and not left abandoned. Look, like an illustration of the battle. Wow. Can you imagine being that? Look, there's a painting of the captain. Adam Duncan. Wow. He, he joined the Navy when he was 15. That's crazy, isn't it? He's looking up to sea out of our fringe rear boat. <laughs> <laughs> this is huge. Look, they're filled with flags. Wow. This is like a different type of exploring. Mm -hmm. It's like no butterflies, you're not nervous, you're not worried about alarms or security. I'd be worried about being on the earth Yeah. Look, they've got the cannonballs still. Can you imagine the one of them being launched? I know, mate. And mate, did she size them on the The ones upstairs, first? yeah. Let's see. So you got this. This is what they use to put the gunpowder in the back of the cannons. So, how many men? Nine men. Take nine men to to load these mm -hmm. and they had kids called powder monkeys 
Look how young they were. To carry the gunpowder. Wow. Uh, this gentleman was just saying it's quite interesting to think um, that when you're actually using these, it would be smoked out. Smoked out in it, yeah. And there'd be cannibals coming to oh, you oh, while mate, you're Can working. you imagine that? Scary it's stuff. As we ventured down the narrow wooden stairs, we entered the lower deck. Here, the ceiling is low, it requires constant bending, and was home to most of the 250 crew. The rear part of the lower deck comprises of the officer's wardroom, complete with their tiny cabins and hammocks. This is where the crew would retire. Go. It's steeper. Oh. Imagine working on here and having to rush up and down these. Yeah, I bet a lot of people hit their heads. Wow, yeah, look how. Oh it my is god. It's literally my Oh eyes. wow, look, it's like a time capsule on here as well. Oh, yeah. All the old lights and stuff. Well, they're new, but they're replicas. Oh, it goes down again. What's that? I don't want to go to that water Got to crouch down walking in here. Yeah, your head just touches the thing. <laughs> wow. The gun room. Gun room. Gun room, it says. Where? Here. The gun room is not where the guns are stored, but it's, in fact, the officers' quarters. Oh, this is where they slept. Wow. This is the bedrooms. Oh, Tiny little God. single beds. That's so cool. That is really cool. Be right up against the edge like that when you think a cannonball could just come through. Gosh. All of these, every single one, is a little room. Oh, look, it's got the little cups and stuff. Mirror. Oh, my gosh. Do you know it's quite calm down here, isn't it? I like the um, sound effects they've got going on. Yeah, yeah, it's like really, really cool. Yeah. Like Purser. Oh, yeah, name tag. Purser. I wonder if these are. Guys, if you can see in there now, we can't see in there. I can see that it's maybe storage. Alright. Oh wow, yeah. Nice, yeah. Hammocks were said to be introduced in Europe, Royal Navy in 1597. Look at those hammocks. Cool. That is super cool. I'm sleeping in there. Yeah. Wow, look, they're still stained and stuff. Oh, it's got the bedding in it. I think the ballast weights. Yeah. With the way with the way they're at, they are, I think they're ballast weights to keep the ship stable. Yeah. No. And they'd move them around. Oh. oh wow, look at that. Guys, look, you can see the ballast weights down there. And that's that where is they, that's crazy. where they would have put them put. And they would have been shifted from side to side with lords. So basically if they had a lord of gold on this side, say, and nothing on that side. They'd move the weights to that side to keep the boat stable. Well, the big barrels. I wonder if this was gunpowder or food or drink. I'm not rum. sure. Rum. Filled with <laughs> rum. You know, Carl would be happy about that. Look at all the old lanterns. They're refurbed, but they're still cool. I actually found one of these. I was a builder, I believe it or not, many years ago. I found one of these in the garden and I brought it home for Jess as a present and we refurbed it ourselves. Put fairy lights inside. Put fairy lights in there and it actually looks just like that. And I found it buried deep underground. I was excavating in the back garden. Yeah, little shelves. Must have been for something. Look, little window. It's a sneaky shooty hole. Hanging tables, that's something I haven't seen before. These were actually lashes and they used to whip people with these. Yeah, if they did an offence, it would range between five to a hundred lashes, mate. Oh, yeah. Oh. To be naughty. The mess deck and the 300 men lived down here. Yeah. 
this with a mess hall though, weren't it? And they, they slept in their bedrooms down there. Yeah, sleeping, did... eating, partying, playing music and stuff. Yeah, but how the hell did you get 300 men in their bedrooms? Oh, before? yeah. No, this is the bedroom. Oh, yeah, these are, they, they, they had oh, hammocks yeah, they here. Hammocks, and yeah. th those are probably bedrooms in there as yeah, well. Yeah, they will be. Yeah, definitely. They would have been playing cards, dominoes. They even still got some original cheese in the tray. <laughs> it's not even gone mouldy. Down a further set of very steep stairs, we enter the Orlock deck, where we can peer into the ship's hold, a fascinating area to view. This is the only area of the ship where a death was recorded, that of George Bishop, a caretaker, who is thought to have fell to his death down the narrow stairs, and some say they have witnessed apparitions on the ship. Right, down again. Wow, this is steep. Oh wow, look at that. Oh my god. Let me swap places with you. Why is it wet? Well, the water must be coming through. You can hear the boat effects from the speaker. Oh, you can imagine being on there. Crazy. It smells amazing, doesn't it? It's an industrial yeah. oil smell. Look, what's this? Cleaning gear. <laughs> Staff only. Oh, wow. It's locked. This is like storage for the hooks and stuff like that. All the ropes. That is cool. It's like a proper original. It's left untouched. Look at this little corridor. Little viewpoint. I think when they had no electricity. Yeah, it would have all been lit. It would have all been lit with candles, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Long ago they made this and it's just still standing. Yeah. What a strange shape of the ruins. Oh look. Oh yeah. Let me shut this minute. Can't do. It's almost been burnt in, hasn't it? It's original. Guys, if anyone knows what this resembles, has any idea, drop it down in the comments below. Look, 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 look under your feet. Oh my gosh, yeah. Lots of trapdoors under there. Here we go. Oh yeah. Took around a thousand oak trees to make each ship. Wow. <sighs> oh yeah, here, here's the middle. There are around 300 shipwright marks aboard the ship. This is a part of what makes her so unique. 90% of the ship's structure is original. Yeah, what do they mean though? I don't understand. Yeah, I didn't really get that. It's ship bright marks, I'll have to look into that. Yeah. Oh look, yeah, here's the one. Salt. Salt. Why is that so, like, normal and the others are in really different writing? Oh, it's got padlock on it, that one. Lamp room. Oh. Back up then. So this is the selection of the ammunition they were using. Bar shot. Look at that one. Oh. So they were for cannonballs boxes. That's so cool, isn't it? Look at those big shells. It's a massive one, that one. It's the oven. No way. 
reproduction of a Brody stove. Oh my gosh, look at the size of it. Daily provisions, bread, beer, spirits, cocoa, sugar, tea, fresh meat, vegetables, salt meat and flour. Mm, very basic diet that. Mm. Too bland for me. <laughs> wow, this is amazing right at the front. Oh look, it's one of the powder monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all the like poking rods for the cannonballs and stuff look, up on the roof. Yeah, they've made all the food in this Yeah, probably. This bit has like a little spout on the end. Strange. Massive, isn't it? <laughs> Crazy. Right, guys, that is the end of this explore. What an amazing place this is, steeped in history. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed this. Even though it's not abandoned, it's still amazing to just see places like this. Like mm -hmm. I already said, if you want to see more stuff that's not abandoned, because there's plenty out there, mm -hmm. drop it down in the comments and let us know. But thank you, everyone, for watching. Make sure to head over to our Instagram to see all the photos of this place because this place is so photogenic. Mm -hmm. It is amazing. Yeah, it is. But I hope everyone enjoyed it as much as we did exploring this ship. Mm -hmm.